You've had a video call with your team. You've pulled together the big picture onto a whiteboard. You've planned out what needs to be done in Planner. You've got your tasks all lined up in the Microsoft To Do app, and now you're ready to get to work. For many people, that work is now going to involve a file. In Office 365, it'll probably be a PowerPoint presentation, a Word document, or an Excel spreadsheet. You have your conversations, your whiteboard, and your planner in Teams, so it makes sense that you'll wanna put your files here too. Not surprisingly, Microsoft thought of this when they created Teams. Behind each team in Teams, in the background, is a SharePoint team site. And with that team site, there's a document library that will allow you to share and work on files together with your colleagues at the same time. When you create a channel for your team, Teams automatically adds a folder to that document library with the name of the channel. And you can see that folder at the top of your channel in the Files tab. There are several ways that you can get your files into that tab. You could drag and drop an existing file or folder from the File Explorer directly onto this page. Or you could select the Upload dropdown and use the File dialog to navigate and find the file or folder that you want to upload. You can also create new documents directly from the Files tab. And if you want to work with the File Explorer, or you want these files accessible when you're offline, you can sync them with the OneDrive Sync Client by clicking Sync. So let's create a new Word document in the Files tab. I'll use Word, but you'll find that the experience is the same for Excel and PowerPoint. You can open your file here in Teams in the web-based version of Word. This is a simple and useful version of Word, but it doesn't have all of the functionality of the Word Desktop app. So I'll open it up in the Desktop app. Notice that the autosave icon in Word Desktop is now in the on position. Make some changes, they're saved, don't worry. You'll never have to click the save button again when you're working on files in Teams in the web-based or the desktop versions of Word. That simple feature is the most divisive feature of Office 365, loved and hated. So we have another video that I'll link to below that discusses the impact that that could have on your workflow and why it's so important. When you work on files in Teams, you'll have automatic saving, but also version control. In fact, Teams keeps up to 100 copies of your document on file, showing the changes that have happened over time. And best of all, you can all work on the file together at the same time, regardless of whether you're using a mobile, a web-based, or a desktop app. As you're working away on a file, you'll probably need to coordinate with your colleagues. So in a conversation or a reply on your channel, you can attach the file. While you're typing a message, click on the Attach Paperclip and select Browse Teams and Channels. This will allow you to share a link directly to the file that you're working on in the Teams document library. Or if you have the file open in the web-based version of Word inside of Teams, you can even start a new conversation about the file while you're still working in the file. This will show up directly in the Post tab in the channel. It's really important to be able to communicate with your team about what you're doing in files. And that's really one of the best things about Teams. We can communicate about what we're doing in the same place that we're doing it. That tight integration between the file and the conversation makes for much more efficient collaboration. So there's just a couple of ways that you can work on documents with your team in Teams. If you didn't know it already, you do now. But is your team on the same page? Take 15 minutes with your team this week to discuss how you're using Teams as a team, and be sure to include videos in this playlist in the discussion. We'll leave a link to the playlist below. Tell us how working with files in Teams has changed or could change your workflow in the comments below. We'll have more videos like this coming up in our Teams series, so make sure that you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're the first to know about them.